Hey guys, I'm Matt Joseph Diaz, working in conjunction with Ravishy.com, and today I want to give you a little bit of a fashion guide for the summer. We're about halfway through the summer at this point, and I'm still finding people on social media, especially on Facebook, who are really concerned about their beach bodies. So today I'm going to give you the three steps you need to know to get your body ready for the beach this summer. Step one is to find and put on a bathing suit. Everybody has their style. Some people like bikinis, others like one pieces, some dudes like speedos. Me personally, I'm just a fan of the typical gray comfortable ones that are cheap and easy to wear. What matters is you find something that makes you feel cute and powerful, something you want to take a bunch of photos of and post all over Facebook and Snapchat and Instagram and everything. Once you find one, good, put it on. Step two, look at yourself in the mirror. Take a good long look at yourself. Look at how well you wear that swimsuit. Look how cute you are in that outfit. And step three, give yourself a little wink, say I look fucking hot, boom, boom, finger guns, and then you're good to go. And that's basically everything. That's how you get beach body ready. Cause I have a little secret for you, now come in close. Your body doesn't have to look a certain way in order for you to be allowed to wear a certain piece of clothing. It's fucking clothing. Literally, who gives a shit? I have no idea who these people are who decided it's their right to tell you what you can and can't wear, but they're full of shit because it's your life and it's your body and you deserve to be able to wear whatever the fuck you want. I'm never going to understand this idea people have, especially on the internet, that it's their right and their duty to police other people's self-esteem. Have you ever noticed this? Those people who, when somebody posts a selfie on Instagram or Facebook, makes a disparaging comment toward them and then when you call them out like hey bro why are you being a dick their immediate response is oh i just have to make sure they stay humble ha 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 fucking no you don't and i'm so tired of it because what you're doing when you say that when you try and tell people what they do and don't have the right to wear when you try and affect their self-confidence because you feel like it's your duty all you're doing is bullying them and trying to act like you're doing some kind of public service as though the fact that someone who might be heavier than you or look different from you being confident means that you don't deserve to be that's not how this fucking works i'm gonna tell you a secret about these people about these people who try and tell you you don't have the right to wear a bikini because your body is in a certain way. All they're trying to do is invalidate your body type to serve their own goals. More often than not, anytime you see something about this on the internet, it's an ad. More often than not, it's someone trying to guilt or shame you into buying some kind of shitty ab roller or waist trainer or herbal tea they think will make you look the way you're supposed to. You're not supposed to look like fucking anything. We're not built from blueprints, we're people. And these people and these organizations and these companies that try and make you feel bad about yourself so you'll go to them, that try and tear down your self-esteem and make you feel bad about yourself so you'll spend money at whatever fucking thing they want you to do. It's disrespectful and it's dehumanizing and you shouldn't fall for it. Things like websites and lifestyle magazines that try and guilt and shame you into staying off the beach because they don't think you deserve to be there. It's just, it's so beneath us and we're so much better than that. At some point these advertisements just try and insult you because they want you to feel vulnerable to go to them. And I know because I've been victim to it so many times. I rode the New York City subway every single day for at least like eight years. When I was at my heaviest weight, do you know how many times I saw an ad for a weight loss drug, some kind of gym that made me feel terrible about myself? And it didn't motivate me because it just made me feel like shit. Negativity is not a motivator. Hatred and bullying is not a motivator. If you want people to be motivated, you have to encourage them. And this is why I'm trying to encourage you. I'm going to go outside and wear your bathing suit with honor because you do have a beach body. You have a bikini ready body. You have a body. That's all you need. If you're capable of putting on a bathing suit, you have a body that deserves to wear a bathing suit because it's clothing. It's not a fucking medal of honor. And I want this to happen because I want it to spit in the face of every single societal implication that we have to look a certain way to deserve to be seen. Because when you make people feel like that, when you make them feel like they don't deserve to be seen or they only deserve to be seen with shameful and pitiful eyes, you take away a bit of their humanity. I was there for such a long time and even now that I'm almost 300 pounds lighter than I was, I still remember those looks. And we are so much more than that. You have a beach ready body. You have a summer body. It's your body. And it's beautiful in its own way. And it deserves to be seen. So do me a favor and go show it off, huh? I'm gonna try and do the same. Sorry that got kind of heated, guys. I just have a really personal stake in this stuff. Um, check out ravishy.com for a bunch of great articles, including stuff that I write. Check out my Instagram, Tumblr, Twitter, Facebook. All the links are down there, all at Matt Joseph Diaz. And if you want to continue to support me and the work I do here, check out mattjosephdiaz.com slash donate. The link is down there as well. And I'll see you guys soon. Have a good time this summer.